Retard. Retard. I want to introduce myself first. I'm Martin. Martin Windisch is my name. I'm the chief pilot. And I'm here since the beginning of first jet. All right, my name is Juan Camilo Sarta. I'm from Colombia. I'm a first officer. I used to fly for land airlines in Colombia. I always wanted to fly abroad. And I was looking on the web. I saw the fast jet job and I find it quite interesting. The conditions are nice. And the commuting contract is very good. So that's why I took it as a first option. My name is Rafael. Uh, I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Uh, I used to work uh, for 10 airlines in Brazil uh, about four years, around four years. And last year the company was reducing pilots, so I was laid off. And then I could see and could find fast jets, and I decided to apply because I thought fast jet is a growing company in Africa. It's a new company, so I decided to apply because I think it's, it was a good opportunity for my career. Yeah, my name is Human Shamirani. I'm a Persian Swedish actually. Uh, I joined FastJet in mid September, and uh, since I joined, I have been flying for 150 hours in FastJet. It was more attractive than any other country that. Uh at this time. The good thing is that we don't have any jet lag here, you go only north-south, so if you go home on your leave, you don't leave, you don't lose any time. You arrive at home and you are fresh like the day before. That was one of the reasons. Then the climate is wonderful, I can just tell it's beautiful, the ocean is beautiful. The people are very nice, I didn't know about that, but uh, learned to know that they're very nice and friendly. We, I do a lot of sports here, I do cycling, I like to do kite surfing, so I like to go out. When I'm off, go out for drinks, there are quite a few places, nice places to go out for dinner. For me it was very easy. Uh, the weather is similar from Brazil. The people here are friendly. You learn some Swahili words, you can make many friends here. Well, I tell you the truth, at the beginning it was not so easy actually, but it changed very quickly. And uh, in the meantime, when I'm too long away from here, I'm getting homesick to come back to these places. It has changed completely. The community for the pilots here is very nice, very nice people, they are very friendly. Most of us, we are with our family, so we always try to do plans together, we go out. Uh, cinemas, shopping malls, uh, nice sport activities, nice gyms, kite surfing going on. So there's always something to do and it's a nice family life here as well. We have many islands around uh, Tanzania. Uh, we can go there and spend all day enjoying the sun, the weather. I've never been in Kilimanjaro but I want to go also to climb uh, Kilimanjaro and a safari. <laughs> I, I really want to go to do a safari. Yeah, I would say you have to be open for new things, for new experiences. You have to see the positive things here, the positive side of the things, and there are many. Uh, it's not like Europe, uh, but you're getting used to these things and you can handle it and you can live with it and you can have a very nice life here. It's like uh, an adventure. You learn a lot of new things and it's just positive. The uh, reason actually for why I uh, decided to join FastJet was that it's an it's a airline where, where you can feel it's expanding with a bright future. And I feel like there is an uh, opportunity to grow within the airline and uh, hopefully stay here for a few years, get your command and continue to fly. And the uh, flying in, in East Africa is, uh, if you ask me, I think is wonderful. I really like it and I really enjoy it. One of the reasons that I, I applied for FastJet it's the commuting contract. Uh, I don't know, but I believe that for, especially for first officers, here is the best commuting contract in the world. 
and because we have six weeks on and three, three weeks off, we can go home, enjoy your family, uh, relax a little bit, and then we come back happy again to fly and work. So it's amazing, yeah, it's really good. You have uh, time to fly and you have time to spend time at home with your family as well, which is very important for me as well. Uh, Sweden is far away, so if, if the off period would be anything less than three weeks, it would feel so short to fly all the way to Scandinavia, spend 10 days and then it's time to go all the way back and time is really ticking by fast. So the three weeks rotations suits me very nicely. I, I find it very nice to spend time with family without the stress. And then when I come back here to Africa, I have I have the six weeks on, which is perfect amount of flying, uh, six weeks. Okay, yeah, so we, here we are sitting up in the cruise. Probably the best view in the world. What a nice office. And uh, looking at my roster here, I see that uh, NMC, they've just, they've just been uh, allocated a nice Lusaka flight, which means I'll get home early and I'll be able to go home for two days to South Africa. So that's fantastic. My uh, companions here, uh, some other pilots I know, they stay in Tanzania with their families. Uh, and they are very happy uh, because the, there are good schools here and uh, there is a huge community with expats so the wife and children usually get into the community pretty fast and they, they get busy. When you get here you have to be a little bit fle flexible because you need to get your validation first or license if you are converting. That may take some time. Uh, you will probably start doing your observer flights when you get here and during that time the process of getting your validation and license will be parallel to your observer flight. And I've been to both Asia, Middle East, Europe and Americas. Africa is something different. So if you come to Africa you will definitely get experience, a nice experience uh, that you will uh, probably cherish for your life. So. Whoever who comes here will enjoy it and they will definitely come back in future as well, I think, because that was the case with me. It's so nice that you can do so many things aside your flying and in the same time have the flying, which in my opinion is uh, very professional. Fast Jet is, uh, in, my, in my opinion, an airline who strives to keep the European discipline. We focus a lot uh, on CRM, non-technical skills, and you have to be very flexible in this environment with the controllers, with the ATC, you must show your flexibility, your ability to adapt to new situations, and you must be flexible. But uh, you have to have a good standard, a good professional standard, and further than that, you have to be a person who is social, who can get in contact with other people. One, one thing that I really like here from FastJet is the communication with the man management people. Uh, it's so easy to communicate if you have a problem, if you have um, any doubt, you can go directly with your manager or chief pilot. My experience with uh, management so far here and from London is that They've gone, they've gone out of their way to help us. I know it's a big problem trying to get all the uh, politics sorted out and things like that, but they've backed us all, all along and um, that takes quite a lot. I don't think you'd get something like this in the East. When, if you go and work in China, it's going to be a completely different game. In fact, even in Europe. Um, so from that aspect, we've been looked after uh, quite nicely. Eh? I'm Jimmy. Jimmy Kibat is my name. and. Uh I'm the general manager for Fast Jet Airlines Limited, covering East Africa. And uh, a little bit about Fast Jet and what Fast Jet is all about. Fast Jet is an airline that uh, has actually got a vision to be a low cost Pan African airline. So, the intention and the ambition is to cover the whole of Africa with the various different entities of airlines uh, based within various countries. To date, we've got about uh, 52 foreign or expatriate pilots, and uh, we've got about 18 uh, local pilots, which includes a few East African pilots. 
various nationalities. We have Belgians, we have a number of South Africans, we have a lot of Italians, we have British, we have uh, Spanish, Colombian. It's a multicultural mix of, uh, of pilots who come here. So we, we try as much as possible to, to, to bring them in and have our first jet culture. Because it doesn't matter where you come from, you just come in and get in our values and understand what we are all about and then get into the first jet family. I'm not sure how many of you have been to Africa. And uh, I'm not sure if you've been to Tanzania. I'm not sure if you've been to South Africa. I don't know that you've been to Zambia or Kenya or Uganda. But I'll tell you one thing, you will have the opportunity to visit all these countries when you join First Jet. We are all very warm people. You can see I'm smiling. It's natural. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we are very warm people, we are very friendly, so in the cockpit or on the ground there's nothing you'll not experience walking fast.